Welcome to the SD online classes. This is for class 9 Mizoram Board of School Education Physics chapter number 3. We have finished our chapter number 2 in the whiteboard classes that was the force chapter. Now this time we are starting gravitation and flotation. In this chapter the topics to be are uh, in two parts first gravitation part and then flotation is separate okay there we will study pressure and Archimedes principle all this in gravitation part we will study more about force universal law of gravitation all these things okay. So in the early time what it has to happen is that things whenever things are falling down people used to think that it is because not because of scientific reason but because everything wants to rest on the earth it wants to fall on the earth that is why this is happening okay but uh, the first the first person who gave this understanding was sir isaac newton okay isaac newton was the one who told that things fall due to due to known laws okay there is but there was some rule for doing this okay and now this law was called gravitation okay law of gravitation so we are going to study the topic gravitation okay gravitation now how it is done uh, we will introduce the meaning of first so here is the gravitation what is this uh, and uh, Isaac Newton first of all he saw uh, an apple falling down from a tree and then he sensed he thought that this is because of the force of gravity of the earth the force is associated with it which is called gravity okay so he gave the name gravity what is gravity it is a type of force which is responsible due to which due to this force the falling body means any object accelerates accelerates means its velocity increases rapidly okay and this is called this acceleration is called acceleration due to gravity due to gravity this stands as small g the force was f this is this one okay now how to write it properly he gave the law like this you will say this Newton's law of gravitation this is also called universal law of gravitation same thing okay both the name are same universal why because everywhere it is applicable everywhere not just in the earth outside the earth also it is applicable what he says there is a statement he has given this is the statement it says that every object in the universe means and universe means everywhere not just in earth okay attracts every other object with a force the force is how much this is directly proportional to the product of their masses product of their masses means two masses when multiply you get product of mass and inversely proportional means in the opposite way it is depending on the square of the distance square of the distance between them so let us write how it is mass 1 mass 2 suppose this is m1 its mass is m1 kg this is m2 kg between their centers from this center this is the center between their center there is a gap distance okay this distance we call it d then newton's law says that there is a force with which this object will, will be pulled here this object will be pulled here which is f which is called which is what let m1 m2 are two masses okay d is distance between their centers okay then force of attraction between them will be f directly proportional to m1 m2 this is directly proportional to m1 m2 and also 
f is inversely proportional to 1 by d square inversely inversely proportional to square square to this square of the distance between their centers this is the square of the set distance between their centers okay this is how he now we will combine the two things how it is going to be like he combined the two things and it became f is directly proportional to m1 m2 divided by d square so make this proportional means it depends okay proportional means depends it is directly depending here inversely depend the, if m1 m2 is more force will be more if d is more force will be less now f will be equal to what g m1 m2 by r square d square so this is your equation number one this is the formula for universal law of gravitation the force depending on masses and distance here g is called universal gravitational constant this is same everywhere okay it has a value which is same everywhere right from one this is finished now from one what we can get if m1 equal to m2 equal to 1 kg d equal to 1 meter then what will happen f will be equal to g into 1 into 1 by 1 square equal to g so what is this force of gravitation force of gravitation okay here you see force of gravitation what is this force of gravitation and f will be same gravitational constant okay force of gravitation f and gravitational constant g they are same when whenever two unit mass unit means one unit masses means one one unit means one okay placed at a distance of unit distance unit distance means one meter see i have kept a distance also one meter so whenever they are one 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 this will happen okay so this is the mean right and now si unit of g is what from here you can understand g is newton force okay the, you can see here newton into meter square divided by kg into kg kg square this is the si unit of g also g equal to 6.673 into 10 to the power minus 11 unit is newton meter square per kg square in this was found in 1798 by henry cavendish okay this is the whole thing about this is the important formula that you are going to use in numericals also f is equal to g m1 m2 by d square